What's up? How you doing? I'm back. Spitballing today, talking about um, financing your first Rolex, your first luxury watch. How you going to pay for it? Do you have nine grand in cash, ninety six fifty or fifty seven hundred? Should you be lucky enough for to get your hands on an OP? You got the credit? What do you got? Hmm? How you gonna pay for this? Your wife know? You gonna come home with a Rolex on your hand? Walk around with it like nobody's gonna notice it? Yeah, that ain't gonna work. It, yeah, it might work. I don't know. It might work. So what you going to do? Real quick, subscribe, please. Give me some likes, please. Remember, as of right now, my videos are unedited. You know why? Because they are. That's why. Okay? Okay. Because they are. All right. So, your first Rolex, how you going to pay for it? How do, how, do, how do all these other people pay for their Rolexes? When you go on these forums and these people talking about, they go to the Rolex dealer and the Rolex guy says, hey, uh, I got this one Rolex I want to sell. I'm trying to adjust the light. I got this one Rolex I want to sell you. Oh, by the way, I got another one. And the guy on the forum was like, I'll take that one too. Where are these motherfuckers getting all this money? Excuse me. Where, where are these people getting all this money from? To pay for these watches. You know, at the very least, nine grand. You know, uh, what, what are two tones? 13 grand or something like that? Huh? What a full gold. 36 or 36 grand? You know, where, where are they getting all this money from? All right, so. What, what, what's the. Uh, I, I got my computer's over there. What's a submarine go for? Like, I don't even know. Um, hold on, let me let me pause this. Uh, okay, I say a submariner is about nine something, ninety seven hundred maybe, or something like that. So, in the big picture of life, in the vacuum of buying Rolexes, that type of credit or even cash is not hard to come by for people people. You know, everybody ain't broke. Everybody ain't poor. I think it's 15 to 16% of the U.S. population is up to $150,000 salary household. Something like that. I don't know offhand. Too lazy to look it up. So I read it. I read that somewhere recently. Okay. So everybody ain't broke. Okay. So, and you're in a vacuum of people that you are um, corresponding with, who are you, who are you being social with on these forums? You know, these people have money. It's an expensive hobby. Buying watches, luxury watches, is an expensive hobby. Okay, this is not people on the Timex forum. Okay, or the Fossil Watch forum. And we're talking APs, Rolexes, Patex, Cartiers. You know what I'm saying? So. These things cost. So the people who are in and out of these forums, you show them pictures of their wrists, of their new, their new watch they just bought. And you're like, damn. You know, you look the guy's name up, you see his other posts. This MF just bought another watch three months ago. That's 17 grand. Where are they getting this dough from? You know, a lot of these people have um, investments. Maybe borrowing against that or cashing things out. You know, cashing out vehicles. Some people just go with money. But in your case, regular, working class, maybe married, you know, person. Salary, 50K or so, 60, 70K. You got children, maybe, and bills. You got a wife, you know, that you want to convince that you want to buy a $10,000 watch, okay? What's up with that? Well, I'm not even going to get into that. That's another video. Forget about all that. I'm not even going to sit here and tell you to lie to your wife and all that. So, my theory is, like I said before, your first 
Rolex should be bought at a dealer. Okay, I bought mine. First one. It was cash. You know, it was I saved up for it. I saved up for most of it. Some of it um was a bonus. Part of it was a bonus. That helped a lot. Okay, but in your case, you might not get a bonus or um, you might not have a lot of cash. So I recommend for you to buy your first watch. And this is going to be some ambiguous advice. It's any way you can, all right? Whether it be credit, this is your first one, whether it be credit, cash, um, borrow against. I even tell you, I'll even tell you to borrow a little against your, it's bad advice, but you want to watch. I'm not, we're not here to be fiscally responsible or pious, okay? I hate reading on these forums where these people get on these forums and they, somebody might say, well, I, I bought my Rolex with a credit card or I financed it or whatever. And these, and these, these pious financial investment guru people, faceless people get on here and tell you that, well, that's not smart because I, um, I, I, all oh my, I got investments and, you know, I never would. I would never finance a, a, a credit, you know, a luxury or watch. You, these same motherfuckers who's telling you this bullshit are financing their children's meth habit. Or they're cheating on their wife with the cabana boy. All right, motherfucker. These people are lying. They're doing something irresponsible somewhere in their life. Everybody does. Your irresponsible part of your life, you're going to probably finance a watch. Okay? It's worse than sneaking behind the shack. It's, no, it's better than sneaking behind the shack with a hooker. Okay? Worse things you could be doing than financing a watch. The same person who's on these forums, these fiscally responsible investment people who got all these investments and all these watches, they doing something. Committing fraud or something. You know what I'm saying? So your irresponsible thing is you're getting a watch and you're gonna pay interest. Okay. Alright? The same person who's saying you shouldn't do that is doing something they shouldn't probably be doing. And it's probably way worse and you putting a watch on your credit card or whatever, or borrowing against your 401k a little bit. <clears throat> well, my recommendation is save up as much cash as you possibly can. Get a part-time job. Get some credit cards. Get your credit score up. Get some credit cards. Um, what else? Save your money. You know, cut back. Get a plan. Budget. That's what I did. If I could do it, anybody can do it. Trust me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But it's possible. We all, because 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 in life, <clears throat> here's the thing: you might not get another chance to get one of these. You 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 go into the store, you buy this watch, and you say, "Man, I'm good. I was good for like three or four. But no, I take that back. When I went in here and I got this watch, then. You know, I looked at some other ones while he was back there doing his thing, setting it up, getting me ready. And right in that case was a day date, 40. I was like, damn, that's nice. You know, <laughs> I was like, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I went home, enjoyed the hell out of this watch. I'm still enjoying it. I love it. <clears throat> but, and you say, I'm not going to spend that kind of money again. On a, on a luxury item, especially if you're just middle class or whatever. My wife still don't know how much I paid for this watch. She, I think she got an idea, but she don't really know. But she got all kinds of stuff, so she it's okay. But, listen. You're going to wake up five months later and say, Man, I sure wouldn't mind getting that two-tone or that bluesy or that Batman or that Submariner or that Daytona. You know, sea dweller. You know, or or other things might happen. 
You might not get a chance to get one of these again or for a while. Life takes over. Life come at you fast. So you got to get it while they're getting good. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, my advice is on your first one, get it however you can get it. Don't rob no banks. Don't stick nobody up. But you get it. You might have to do something a little bit irresponsible. You might have to eat some beans for a while. But get it how you can get it. Second one, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other video. Second one, we're going we gonna to get you better fiscally. You know, now we're going to be more responsible for the second one. But that first one, you need to get over that hump. You need to get it. I hook a crook. Get it. Get it on your wrist. In my next video, I'll show you after you get it, what do you do that day? When you get it, you know, you go to the grocery store. This is the next video. You, get, you look at the apple. When you look at the apple, you got to look at the apple like this. You know, you got to examine the apple and the grocery store. And, you know, you look around like that. <laughs> that's another video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, that's what you do. All right, that's enough. It's been 11 minutes. Thank you. Subscribe, please.